What's going on YouTube? It is James oh the Fox 360 so and today I'm going to be doing a mini series on me reviewing zombie maps across all the Call of Duties in the franchise alongside with my friend. Uh, in the future I may not be able to do Black Ops 2 zombie maps because my friend does not have Black Ops 2 or at least it's not working and I might do reviews just on my own. Not sure how that will go, but today we're going to be reviewing the very first zombie map on World at War. And yes, you guessed it, Nocter on Token. Now we're going to quickly, oh no, maybe not quickly, but go right ahead and play with with my friend Turbo Guppy 360. Now, uh, Turbo, if you can introduce yourself. Haha, <laughs> funny as always. Now we're right now we're gonna gonna get ready to play Nocter on Toten. I want a divorce. Haha. <laughs> Alright, you you can start the game, uh, Turbo. I want a divorce. Exactly. I don't have the, I don't I don't have the DLC map, so I can't really hundred percent rate it. Yeah, I I, I, I covered that for you. <laughs> now um now before 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 I let Turbo speak any further, I'm gonna l talk about my first experience with Nocter on Toten. No, it wasn't my first zombie map. It, this was like my fifth, I would say. And the first time I played Nocturne Tone, I was like, oh shit, this is OG as fuck, dude. And I guess pretty good memories. I like its simplicity, and I thought it was very easy. But the reason why it was hard for me is because I acted very stupid when as I was younger. Holy shit, this zombie is attacking. Uh, any memories you have with Nocturne on Toten? Um, basically what you said, but the first time Oh, I remember. I, I got the MG42 from the box. That's wonderful. Um, all right. What about the map itself? So the starting area, very basic, kind of, kind of. I don't know how to put it. Teaches you stuff like, oh, this costs points, and oh, look, a gun for me to buy. I have 500. This is 200. Why not get it? Yes, he's doing this for the review. And then as you can see here, there's this better weapon that costs more points. Just 100 extra points. There's glitch spots, like this. Oh yes, a glitch spot he's going to show us. You don't know about this, your mom doesn't love you. <laughs> yeah, very funny. And also his knees kind of look weird. Also, hey, can you can you look up and run and sprint for us, please? Yeah, it looks pretty funny. Do it again. Wait, do it. Again. Oh, 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 oh. Just a demonstration how to. Oh. Now, when I only had or only played Nocturne on Toten, I thought Road of War zombies were the easiest zombies, but boy was I wrong when I got Duris. Everything just changed. My perspective, totally. Now, I'm very sure that the world record round was like, what, 2000 something? And the strategy was basically train the zombies with a flamethrower and have ray gun. Oh yeah, I did that as well. Yeah. <gasps> oh, speak of the devil, look what I got! Oh, wow! Damn, we're, we're getting lucky. Now, um... 
Oh, so yeah, yeah. along now with yeah. the review. So I, I noticed there's two places you can go. One goes straight for the box. One is up here. And to tell you the truth, this is like the cheapest way, but I also think it's the hardest because over time the zombies would crowd up here, and usually you want to camp in this corner. And sometimes you can kind of shoot them, but they'll be behind this pillar. Arr, but then you also have to watch out for this. And some people would prefer going through the upstairs than through here, because it would be easier to kill zombies coming through downstairs here with like a sniper, like a PTRS. No, this map did not have any perks or whatnot, just bare bones weapons. This map is just bare bones in general, but here's one of the best e easter eggs. If you shoot or knife this radio box, it'll play a random soundtrack, either from the campaign or one that's actually pretty original. I also like how the box sounds are reused from the campaign. Like, there's a part where, uh, oh my god, I'm dumb. Reznov opens up a door and it makes the same sound that the box makes when you open it. I'm sure that's I'm sure that's supposed to be a generic sound that the that I'm sure it's just a generic sound effect that's just used turbo Cause this was an, like no one was expecting Call of Duty zombies to blow up like this That's why a lot of this uh, stuff is reused short barrel One reason why I like, like to play Road at War <coughs> back in the days because of the World War II weapons because when I was younger I was really stoked and interested in World War II I don't know why but there's just something about the weapons of World War II that was interesting but you spin around the place though your arms just break So Turbo, what rating? What kind of rating should we give this? A five out of a, a rate from zero to five, zero to ten, or a scale of no and and wart wart wart? What do you think? Well, hold on. What are we reviewing here? Just this map or the overall mode? The map. We're reviewing the map. This is this is what the series is about. The maps. Okay, the map. Uh. Playability wise, I'll give it like a six, maybe slightly lower, because if you're just playing this over and over, it, it, it gets boring. You're gonna want to buy the two maps. Yes, yeah, exactly what um, Turbo says. I'm not I'm not sure if my capture card can pick that up because it is pretty quiet. But um, yeah, what he said. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't erase. I think my capture card got that. I'm not sure. Um, weapons, th it was ph phenomenal, adding two, two of the best LMGs to the box, and just being able to spray zombies down. Really intense when you're camping upstairs, you know, screaming your balls off. Exactly. Oh, and one other thing I forgot to mention a, a little bit Watch while out, ago is that the power-ups actually had a little timer that showed you how long it was gonna last, but in the other maps, Why? oh no. Oh, oh. Why did they get rid of that? Uh, uh, I guess to make you guess and be scared? Just another element of challenge, I suppose. So, <clears throat> if I were to give this a rating, I'm not sure what it would, what it would oh, be, because this bro. is the original zombie map. Oh, love it. Let me review this. Okay, map design. Very simple, but sweet, you know. It's a small package, just like mine, but it's still good. Overall map design, fun. It's really intense. Atmosphere, right on it. 
scare the shit out of you the first time you play it. Like, right now, if you're like six years old, you're crying. You don't want to play this. It's a man -tree. Oh yeah, there's also there's also this little special use with the lighting in this map that kind of gives it a certain vibe, especially when Turbo here shoots his MG and it gives off this flash of light that just makes it cinematic, as you can see. Well, do what the trailer did, where they're like back to back right here. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. But this map created so much hype for future maps that the fans were just begging for. They released so much new content that just became so, like, standard. That Black Ops 4 was all like, <laughs> Yeah, no one loves you. No, Juggernaut. No one loves you. Just get, get, the, just get rid of it. And you. also introduce actual characters to love and care about. If I had to choose what game did zombies overall best, Probably Black Ops 1 because Black Ops 2 was adding a lot of content with more of the story and more maps and just overall like technicality like Origins was very... Origins is probably one of my favorite maps because it's not too difficult but still presents the challenge while not being too complicated. Like it's pretty easy to remember all the steps for building staff and you don't have to do the easter egg every time but you get staff, boom, and you can just have fun. Try not to get raped by the industry. Also, it also has very nice, like, replayability for just having fun in a casual. Yes, uh, Turbo is very right on that. Now, for my review on this map, I would probably give this an 8 out of 10 for being very original. But an 8 out of 10, well, maybe it doesn't have that much content and yes it does get a bit boring playing this map over and over you will want something new and plus this is like probably like the easiest world out war map and the only reason why it gets harder is because of the growing number of zombies and their strength but what makes the zombies easy is that they, when they're attacking you they're not they're, they won't attack you in their aggressive state like double hitting you very fast or sprinting up to you. Oh, they can sprint up to you, but when they're attacking, they just do this little neutral attack animation. Not sure how to explain it, but when you see it, you'll know it. But as I reviewed Doris, see, like right there, it was pretty neutral. Oh, that one right there was pretty aggressive. That was probably the only aggressive one. And as I reviewed Doris, y'all. We'll be encountering some little bugs. I'm not sure if it's bugs, but the zombies can literally pull you in on their attacks. And it's kind of weird, janky, but Black Ops 1 fixed that issue when oh, they re released oh. them on the Resurrection map pack for zombies. I personally prefer the Black Ops 1. I just, it's not really the graphics, I just prefer the mechanics of Black Ops 1 zombies. Zombies have more like not personality per se, but they're a, much less predictable than World at War zombies. But they still manage. Also, on the Black Ops One version, I'm not sure if, we'll, if we will review that. What's different about the Black Ops One version is not only will it have <laughs> not only will it have Black Ops One weapons. But it will also have access to the Thunder Gun and a perk called, what it called, Mule Kick. But I recommend not to get Mule Kick because you won't be able to reload cancel with your weapons. You know what I do somewhat hate about the Black Ops 1, your uh, Doctor and Toten? What? Is that they don't have the OG guns in the box. They have the OG wall buys, but not the OG guns in the box. Like. I want to pull. I want to use the MG42 on ba Black Ops One, Doctor and Tolan on console. But, but overall, yeah, I guess I would probably put it a little bit lower. Probably like a seven, not an eight. But it's solo. Definitely an 8, because it's 
it's terrifying solo. Like, it still scares me. And I also prefer to play this with only two people. I don't know, that's just me. The, the scare factor does go away, but the intentness stays. And that, that, that goes along with every zombies map. Yeah, after a while. Well, that goes our well, review on Nocturne on Toten. I hope you guys enjoy, and wow, my ping. We're shit. <laughs> Very garbage. <laughs> yes, we are, we are rusty boomers, you would say. Anyway, what I was going to say is, solo is just so much, it's not as scary as the first time you play it, but the intenseness stays more than other zombies. Well, it's still very intense compared to most other zombies. Because mostly you don't have jug and there's no second chances and the map is tiny and it's terrifying because they're coming everywhere. Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> oh god. Um, oh, that goes on it for our review on Nocturne on Toten. And I'm gonna say my goodbyes until the next time. Tur Turbo, would you like to say your, say your goodbyes? <laughs> yes. Goodbye, everyone. Till the next review. Laugh like that.